Here we are at the beginning of qualification match number 38, starting in that autonomous period. Teams not only trying to score a few points by getting some cubes and cones into their grid, but also trying to get docked and engaged on their charge platform. Looks like they will both be successful in this endeavor, setting them up for bonus points at the end of the match. As we can see, my favorite team, 3024, struggling to get going here in the beginning of the match. Meanwhile, Red Alliance is 7034, scoring a cone on that top layer of their grid. With one robot down, error code zero, which is 1425, is going to need to start picking up the pace, scoring more points for the Blue Alliance. 54, 68, that's chaos theory. Snagging that cube right in the middle of the pitch. Meanwhile, we see 1425 trying to score on their end. 3024 has come alive. Looks like they may be playing defense for the time being. Seeing if there's a way that they can stop the Red Alliance from continuing to build on their lead. Both teams 753 and 7034 in their loading zone, grabbing a piece and quickly moving over to their community to try to place some cones and or cubes into their grid. In the background, we see 3024, my favorite team, yet again struggling to stay active in this match. Thankfully, they're not in the opponent's loading zone, so they're not going to score any penalties. Meanwhile, Red Alliance has completed that cooperation bonus, hoping that they can reduce that requirement for links down to four. Looks like we got some robots, three robots trying to climb onto the charging station for Red Alliance. Almost there. 5468 trying to counterbalance. Blue Alliance looks like they're content with two. Red Alliance still working. They got five seconds. Three seconds. 7034 is on. Doesn't look like they're going to be engaged. That could cost them the match. And the results are in. Red Alliance is going to take away that victory, even though they weren't quite able to get those three robots on the charge platform at the end.